I hesitated so many times on pressing the start button because where where do you start? But I I want to, I want to say a few days ago, um, I did an R.I.P. video for Sir John Salston, um, famous particularly for the um, Human Genome Project, and being such a champion of public science and now we have Stephen Hawking a, a, another um, epic British scientist who really um, is a legend has has been a complete legend and it makes me so proud to be a scientist when I consider people like that um, but science isn't just for scientists it's for everyone it's for all of us to enjoy the wonder and when you have someone like Stephen Hawking who can so effortlessly with so much fun and 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 love and and sort of cheekiness and intellect communicate that kind of wonder it really is something else and he has done so much not just for science but also to to advance um Humanity. I just pulled this down off off the bookshelf. This this book that sold God knows how many millions when it was first published back in 1988. Um, the introduction here by Carl Sagan. I mean, another absolute legend of communication and fascination in philosophy. You know, people who talk about the universe and the cosmos in the same kind of way that like Alan Watts would talk about it. Oh my God, go away. And so. I mean, that's that's the thing for me, that, that ability to communicate. I found this book fascinating at the time. Um, and, I mean, as a character... Oh my God, I'm just going to... They're going to have to wait. As a character, um, he really was um, something else and was absolutely fascinating. But also, like so many great scientists, he wasn't afraid to get involved in politics. And that's... That is important for us. I remember during the Brexit debate when he came out for Remain along with 150 others from, from the Royal Society and it was right through the press and we were like, yes, and we had, you know, big posts of Stephen Hawking with kind of like the in accentuated in, in his name and done it in a sort of pop art style. Um, but it wasn't just, you know, the, uh, uh, Brexit. It was also the, the NHS. Just last year, he was really going for it on, on issues that matter to so many people about the privatisation of the NHS, how you run it properly. You know, he wasn't afraid to get down and dirty with the politics, get involved, um, you know, like Einstein always advocated, or Oppenheimer or Feynman, you know, communication with the public, involvement in politics, getting in the mix. Um, and when you see legends do that, it really is inspirational for the rest of us. I've just come out of this Brexit and the NHS thing, which kind of combines his two issues. I wonder what he would have made of it because, yeah, it's it's not looking good for the NHS. But But this is ours to take forward now. This is ours to champion. Professor Hawking is, is back with the stars where he belongs. And, um, yeah. Oh, all right. A fun story. A fun story. Um, I've never met uh, uh, Stephen Hawking, but he did nearly break my shins once. When I was a student um, in uh, Cambridge, I was, I was at Queen's College. We had a date night, like a blind date night. So it was done as a charity thing and everyone gets kind of like rankings and then you get matched up with people from different colleges. I was late, right? So I was running from Queen's College and then up past Gonville and Keys, which is where he was for God, about half a century, and down up Trinity Street and it's just a wall. It's just a wall. So I was pegging along this wall and I forgot that there was a little archway door there. As I came past the archway door this kind of like motorized block charged at me it went vroom straight for my legs and I sort of like leapt out of the way and kind of like half yelped and the the, the kind of like motorized block just didn't kind of fly it went past me and then kind of stopped there there was no reaction I looked and then there was a guy in there sort of like slumped to one side with just a blankie over him and I thought keys oh my god it's the good Professor Hawking. Holy crap. And didn't know what to do. Then I just like ran along to my date. But yeah, which went craply, by the way. But anyway, there we go. I mean, that that's all I got. Obviously, I'd have and so many other people would have loved to chat to the man because um, he was he was so fascinating and um, and he did so much for all of us. Um, and so never forget that humour um, and engagement and a sense of wonder in the world is always what you have to carry forward. And so we, ha we have been blessed um, with uh, his existence.